kuna watu wanazungumzia mambo ya miwa and they are not farmers they don't know the pain ambayo sisi mimi mkulima 001 wa miwa na tulianza kulima kwetu in the early 80s yetu ilikuwa inaitwa shikoti block 6 kwa wale ambao hujui pale siru ninaishi title deed inasoma shikoti shikoti block 6 babu yangu alikuwa na shamba kubwa aliwaacha nyuma tulikuwa tunalima ekari 30 ya miwa Mumias was under Bukatet management. Joseph Mbaihawa wakiwa kubwa huko. Ikuwa, kusia ni mungu nye liga tangwa, dani shtem. Miasi wali batira yo. Kulikuwa na departments and sections, agriculture, harvesting, agronomy. They were all there. I saw it. Abu shibuli matrakta ilikuwa inaja, ya kupepa steki moja, inaleta inaweko kwa ingine ya kupepa steki tatu zikienda. Farmers were happy. Kila mtu alikuwa na bicycle. Hakuna mambo tulihitaji kama ya basari. We didn't even need it. Kwa sababu moko ilikuwa. Farmers will be advanced the money. Wakati wazungu walienda, muafrika kaingia, yo shakahola, ikahanza kutuuma pala. Na, kuna mtu mmoja, ambaye, anataka monopoli ya miwa, and I must go on record. Kwa sababu haya mafama Haya mafama Hata niko hapa na miwa hape mkama Kwa shama Niko na matrakta kwa boma Huyu mutu Wakati kutali ilianza Mimi nilikuwa hapa kutali Baba alikuwa prime minister Misali alikuwa deputy Nilienda na misali ya mudaba alikuwa gari yake Tukienda kulazimisha na shuso itahita Tukilazimisha machine ya manyo nje Kufanya kazi kama huyu mutu amepeleka kutini It, we, we had to bulldoze Rai kufungua pale Because Rai was already in court Na hataki huyu ya funguke Sasa hawa mefungua mumiasi The same person hataki Na anagopaki peke yake Hataki kufuna miwa ya watu Pami itipaka upeane pesa Ato kifuna enyewe inakaukia kwa shamba. What we want, atutaki monopoli. Tunataka machine ya kutali, ifanye. Ya West Kenya, ifanye. Ya mumiasi, ifanye. Na watu ambao, wanaenda kotini, unasuia. Yani ni kama watu, jano ataku oa. Unaenda unachukua koto oda. Kamba wa sikana tano, mutu wa sishike. Ni wangu. Na ukifawa hiyo kazi, uwezi fanyo. Yeah. <laughs> hiyo ndiyo mambo rai ya nafanyo. Sasa imeteke mutu mjiasiri kama wili ya musamoe ruto kutoa rai kijinga. Mumiasi ifanya, hiyo ingine ifanya. So haliposema mambo ni matatu. Ukitaka vizuri, eh? Eh? And if anyone does not keep the law of your God and the law of the king, take care that punishment is given to him by death or by driving him from the country or by taking away his goods or by putting him in prison. Sasa Raisa alisema maandiko. Na hii maandiko tukitafusiri katika kiswahili nasema yeyote ambaye hata tii sheria ya mungu wenu Pia sherea mfalme, hakika lazima adibiwe kwa kuwawa, kuamishwa, kunyanganyo mali, au kufungwa gerezani. Ezra chapter 7, verse 26. Kwa hivyo wala ambao ni wafisali wa metusumua kwa miwa. Mambo ni matatu. Watahama Kenya, wataenda jela, ama wataenda mbinguni. Kwa sababu mimi kama askofu, ni medipitisha kwanza hiko ndani ya bibilia. 
Si nimewapatia maandiko? Ama si maandiko? Na kama unafikiri niliandika tu kitu kitu, andika Ezra chapter 7 verse 26 utasomea nyumbani, utapata mambo hayo matatu yako pale ndani. Na wale ambao mnajenga vitu ya CDF kwa kukula pesa mingi, kwa kujenga vitu vibaya, kwa kuchelewesha vitu hizo, mambo ni matatu. Mutahama Nuran, mutaenda jela, ama msafiri mwende mingunga. Wala ambao mmekua mkiaribu watoto wa shule, hapa, mkipeana mimba kwa watoto wa class 8, kwa watoto wa form 4, mambo ni matatu. Mutahama Nuran, mutaenda jela, ama mutaenda mingunga. Criminals, wale mnafuja manyumba, mkizuia na kusungushe hapa watu usiku na mchana terrorizing. Tunajenga police station. Na nimekuja na komanda mwenyewe na DC, the chairman wa security. District muzima wamekaa hapa. Na ukiona wakitoka hapa, hilo operation itafanywa nyuma. Hilo operation itafanywa nyuma. Ya kuwakisha watu wabaya, we read them from our community. Yisi vitisho. Bali he ni ukweli we want a good community. Kwa hivyo wale wa, watu wa news nimekuja nilikuwa nataka nikae chini but because you have come 